Hello, my name is Wayne Perry, the TV carpenter, and welcome to the Daily DIY. Today, I'll be showing you things to consider when rehanging your door so it opens the other way. Last week, I knocked down the dividing wall between, between what is this room, the pink room, it's sulking room pink from a family ball, a few people have asked on my Instagram, uh, it used to be my office, and was a nursery, and then became my office, into next door, which is the lounge and the, the kitchen. You can see the dividing area above me that's yet to be filled in. But I want to use this door behind me as the main door into this room. Now the problem is, when you walk into this room, there's a whole load of room over there that you're not seeing. You almost have to walk around this door to then come into the room. So I want to change the hinges and move it onto the other side. Now that's really easy to do. So um, we can adjust the hinges and turn it over and I'm gonna show you as well at a later date how to change the handle. So the handle works the other way. But things to consider, the reason why it's good to do this, like I say, it opens up the space. And the reason why doors were created when you go into these big Victorian houses so that it shields the room is because back in the day, you wanted some privacy in that bedroom so that if someone was to walk into your room, you had time to get decent or uh, you know, cover yourself over before people could see you. But as flats or houses are smaller, you want that sense of space. The problem we have, there is a plug socket here and there's a wardrobe on, on this side. So if the door opens this way, you can't access this um, plug socket and switches for, for the lights. Luckily, these are just um, extra lights within, within the room. We have main lights for the, the main um, lounge and kitchen area. So, and they're easily accessible when the door is turned the other way, ironically. But one thing to note is, this is a, a stud wall. It's a hollow wall, like what we took down. So I could potentially put this light switch on the other side in the hallway, like you do in your bathroom. You have your switch on the outside of the room. That's the potential there. So literally, if you isolated your electrics, turned it off, and then you know um, attached it from the other side, it's just cutting through some plasterboard and then reattaching the lighting. Um, that's a possibility that you could get an electrician to do. So these are just a few things to consider when rehanging your door. Hope that was a bit of food, food, food. Hope that was a bit of food for thought for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can message me on my website, um, which is thetvcarpenter.com. And don't forget, you can also find the DIY Doers help page on there with a lot of tips and tip tricks to help you with your DIY renovations over this lockdown. Stay safe. Hope that was helpful. And thank you for watching me, Wayne Perry, the TV Carpenter.